Learn the truth about the game by joining dating and life coach Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham live in New York City on Saturday, April 14th at the NYC Seminar and Conference Center for the Truth About the Game Seminar. In this seminar, Mr. Locario will teach you exactly what you need to know to be successful with women. Space is extremely limited, so purchase your tickets today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and this subscriber sent a donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says, hey, Mr. Locario, um, I live in Toronto. I'm a huge fan of yours. Your work has such a huge impact on my life. Um, I was able to build confidence, develop myself mentally, physically, and spiritually, and finally find um, a woman I love. I lacked or was deficient in a lot of those things before I found your YouTube page, so thank you. Uh, before January and February of 2017, after following your methods for several months, I found myself dating five women at once. I was on cloud fucking nine. Their age ranges between 22 and 39. I was 28 years old at the time. I'm now 29. Um, in late February 2017, I realized that I liked the 39-year-old uh, the most out of all of them. Um, let's call her M. I dropped all of the other women in order to have a serious monogamous relationship with this woman. Um, we had many great times together and she put me on a lot of real estate games since that was her passion. However, as the months went on, I felt that I was putting more into the relationship than she was. She even told me that she realized that I was better to her than she was to me a couple times. In the later months of our relationship, she did a lot of things I didn't like. Um, she would flirt with other people to get what she wanted. We went out. Uh, we went from having sex three times a week to three times a month. She was never direct about what she wanted from me, and she always wanted me to fill her up emotionally so she could reciprocate love. It was almost never the other way around. Um, I broke up with her uh, last year a few for a few days, but she came back, and we ended up getting back together. A couple of days ago, we had a really big argument, and I said some really nasty things to her. I was upset because I took her out um, that day was really good to her, but I did, didn't do a couple of things she wanted me to do. So she said no to sex because she wasn't feeling it emotionally. She broke up with me the next day. I, I, am, um, I, was, I was and am still distraught. I have been tearing up a little. Uh, I've been tearing up like a little bitch for the past couple of days and eating ice cream. I am on a downward spiral. I am not without fault. I have been reflecting on my behaviors the past couple of days. I believe I messed up the relationship by not remembering to always have game. I got comfortable and our relationship went stale. I wasn't working out as much anymore, hanging out with my friends or doing what I loved. I depended on the relationship to make me feel good about myself rather than developing myself independently and then pouring that into the relationship. Anytime she got upset or annoyed, I took it more personally than I should have because I depended on the relationship to make me feel good about myself. I want to know if I should work on myself and this relationship um, and get back with my ex or work on myself and move on. I still love her and miss her. I feel like we can really make it happen, but it will take a lot of work. I plan on contacting her in a couple days to go out for coffee. Uh, what should I do? All right. So, you know, thanks. Thanks for actually checking out the videos. And I'm glad that, you know, the game is 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 working out and helping you, uh, you know, make things happen with these women. Right. Um, but as far as is, is this situation with this girl that you're with. Right. Because you, you sort of, you know. Um, answer your own question because, you know, you were, you were saying like, you know, I don't, I don't kind of know what, what's, what's happened and, you know, things kind of went left or whatever, but really the reason why most of that happened was because you were, you know, depending on the relationship to make you feel good about yourself. And so you forgot about you, you forgot about who you were, who you are. Right. And that sort of messed up the whole situation. You see what I mean? Because 
what happened was was that you were so focused on her and probably pleasing her and being in that relationship with her that you neglected all the things that made you you which at the same time sort of made her take you for granted you see what i mean because what you have to understand and this is why a lot of relationships fuck up is because the guy that the woman met right when she first met you when she was first dealing with you right is not the same guy who is now in the relationship so what that means is is that when she met you you was on your purpose you were doing your thing you were you know you had your life or whatever you understand you had certain things that would go that you had going for you which was part of the appeal of why she wanted to fuck with you but then what happened was is that now that you got into this relationship and you made it about the relationship then you being that dude disappeared you understand the guy she sort of like uh fell for and sort of had started to have feelings for and to to be attracted to that guy disappeared you understand once you got into that relationship and you became uh, you know all about the relationship and you forgot about who you were you forgot about doing your thing you forgot about uh making things happen in the way you want it to to happen and then have her be be a part of that program you understand and so this is where a lot of guys fuck up in relationships where you get into these you know um like committed long-term relationships with these with these women and if you are like you know just focusing on her and focusing on you know um the relationship right you lose that swag that charm that that thing that made you interesting to her because now you're making it all about her you see what i'm saying so you know you're not the same dude now see the thing is you know we're, we're, we're you know people are always going to grow and evolve and you know you're not going to be the exact same way you are today that you're going to be tomorrow and all that other stuff but what i'm saying is is that the 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 basis or the foundation of who you are got lost in the relationship you were in. You see what I'm saying? And, and I think you 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 sort of noticed that and realized that based off of what you're saying in this email. Now, you're saying that, you know, um, you're asking, hey, should should you get back with your ex or work on yourself and move on, right? So basically, you know, the last thing you said was that she broke up with you you understand? And you're a little bit distraught, you're upset or whatever. Um, and since she broke up with you, you know, you shouldn't really be contacting her to try to get back with her because she's the one who broke up with you. If anything, she needs to be contacting you to see what's up, right? So what I would say for you is, is that you should just keep working on yourself, keep, you know, stepping up your game and move on to other women because you could end up meeting another chick who you could connect with better and you probably uh, have a, a, a good time with, but also with the, the, the new knowledge or the, the insight of understanding that, hey, let me not make the same mistakes I made with this girl with the new girl. You understand? Because just like you said earlier, you know, you said that you've been out here and you've been making stuff happen and, you know, you was dating like five women at one time. So you have the skill and the know-how to get women so you don't have to really just worry too much about, you know, her. You understand what I'm saying? If at any point she, you know, um, wants to holler at you and see what's up with you, then at that point you can, you know, see if you want to like, you know, take it back and work it out and all this other stuff. But at, at this point, since she broke up with you, you just don't contact her. You just keep it moving. You just do your own thing. You, you know, don't hit her up on social media. Don't, you know, like her pictures on Instagram. Just, you know, forget about her like you got to ignore her and just do you move forward you know uh, uh look forward um when you're interacting with these with these women like talk to other women because you can and you know how to get these other girls you understand so just focus more on on that focus more on you know improving your um yourself and if you do get into another relationship with you know some some new chick you understand? Just learn from the mistakes that you made in this relationship. If this if this girl does call you, you understand, or hit you up, and you still want to make something happen, then you can try to make something happen, but also with the knowledge of you know what you know now and do it differently this time and make sure that you maintain uh you know 
who you are and what you're about when you are in these relationships. You feel what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. Listen, um, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click that link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get your tickets for the Truth About the Game seminar. Space is limited, so get your tickets today. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to BadBoyMembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com